Okay, guys, I feel like I'm finally making some progress with these uh, Dodge 302 heads. DV was talking about LS1 valves. Well, I decided to kind of split the difference. I had some LS1 valves. So the exhaust is a 1.57 LS cut for a 50, of which I cut the head for a 50-degree seat. I actually had a 65 degree throat stone, so I, I used it, and I used the 35 degree top cut. The intake was a 2 inch LS, I cut down to 188, I put a 50 on it, I put a 35 degree back cut on it. As far as our liquid on our plug, seems like a lot of liquid getting on the plug. Had an interesting conversation with DV about the actual pressures in a running motor and uh, what actually happens to the fuel. He doesn't think it, it'll be a problem. I'd like some other guys to uh, chime in on that. You can see we've got a nice, a nice amount right on that, that ring. I really think this ring is is here for just this reason. To, to literally have the, the fuel hit it and right down the bore. Before I forget, let's take a look at the bore. Let me get a little extra light on here for you guys. Okay, I tried to be conscious of how much dicom I sprayed in. I still get a huge drip coming down but I am quite wide I'm quite wide as far as our pattern so the 50 did change things the bigger valve did change things but I think they're still usable all right let's take this apart and take a look at it okay you can see we're definitely getting a lot of that back cut which is probably a good thing you have to remember these are these are much flatter profile valve than the original the orig original tulip Chrysler valve <laughs> that's full of dust, right? Now part of me was saying, you know, this would probably work better with a Dodge Tulip 188. We'll find out if we get our hands on any. You can see the exhaust. I cut it. I gave it a quick once over with the burr. I radiused a little bit. And that's it. The throat is literally the exact same size it was. Which is about 1.31. Okay, now we actually have a throat ratio on the intake, which is a nice change. Let me measure that out for you guys. Okay, you take throat 1.662, exhaust port throat 1.31. It's an 88% on the intake, which is usually my go-to number, but that's for 45 degree seats. So my throat is still, is actually went from being way big to a touch tight for a 50. You guys let me know whether I need to change that or not. Now remember, I still don't know exactly what's going to happen with these heads, so I need to keep the seats real high, and uh, the max size right now is going to be 16188, depending upon how this uh, project changes and changes and changes and changes. The exhaust comes out to uh, 83%, which is tight in anybody's book, I would say. Well, let's see how, how they did... Uh, you know what? Let's take a look at the, the liquid in the intake port. Let me add some light to this for you guys. Okay. You can still see that blue wants to come around that short side radius. You can see I just threw a 60 and a 70 underneath the 50. You can see, you can just see it right below my beaver teeth cut, what we got going on there. 
Now, would that work better with a 65? I don't know. Give me some feedback on that. Maybe I'll waste a stone and we'll take a look at that. But uh, as far as our liquid in the port, I think we're not necessarily better than we were, but not too terrible either. I would say we probably took a, a little bit of a step back as far as what the liquid's doing. Let's take a look how we did as far as flows. Now you would think, because you're putting bigger valves in it, that we would get better flow. But you also have to remember, right, anytime, anytime you do that, you're coming closer to your chamber here. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing because this casting had a big dip here. It's a little bit closer now. Is it is it perfect? Does it come up and out out of the way? No, it's still it's still a little low. Now I've heard guys cut these for 202 intakes. Um I don't know. That may work great. I mean, I could take I could take a little more out of this. I'm not undercut under the head gasket, but remember, I don't have I don't have a 318 head gasket in stock that I could find. So I'm going to keep them a little shallow for now. Let's take a look at our sheet. Let's do uh, pluses and minuses from last time. Okay, guys. So this was a 50 degree seat after I did the floor wing with a 1.78. Okay, so it's these flows and swirls versus the 18850LS one valve. Got plus plus minus plus 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 plus. It's a winner. Now at 500 lift, see I can actually go to 700 lift now. Uh, that that helps. Notice what happens at 500. I'm flowing 243, which is a decent number. But see, I have a B there. That's buffeting. So what's what it's doing? is it's following the short side radius and then it goes it doesn't go it goes into transition as far as turbulence and then it goes over the short side radius and then it, it reattaches to the short side radius so your manometer your manometer would bounce but that's what I was getting on that and then after that she just jumps over the short side radius and she starts going back up I can do a little more work to the short side radius, probably not a lot. Now remember, this is the finned port. I should probably write that on here. This is the fin. This is the first port I did all those gajillion hours of work on onto. Okay, let's get uh, the other flows for the exhaust up. Okay guys, now this is the last uh, port number one flows. Okay, we maxed out at 167 at about 450 lift and 186 with a pipe. Now take a look at how we did. We did a plus minus minus with noise. That's where it's coming off the short side radius and going up to the roof of the port, causing uh, serious turbulence. The one, uh, the next one below it was minus. That was still a touch noisy, and then she smoothed out. But we still have minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus at even a much higher lift, and a minus with the pipe. So what is that telling me? Maybe I should open that throat up a little bit. What do you think? You let me know in the comments. It is interesting. What happened with our our air speeds? as far as the uh, the exhaust, right? We're down. We're down except for the floor here. Okay. That would be those compared to those air speeds. I didn't take one in the middle. Uh, we didn't talk about... I forgot about talking about the air speeds for the pinch. Notice how high the air speeds are for the pinch at this point. Is there any more area in the pinch? I guess I could take some out of the floor. I am quite thin on the pushrod hole, so I don't know if I want to go any more than that. 
they really could use they really could use tubing but I don't know if I want to do that uh, went up considerably on on our roof that would be, uh, this one here our roof speeds went up considerably you know what that's a different port sorry guys don't even worry about it just go by these and as far as our short side radius fast 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 400 plus not great now that's the fin port all right guys give me some feedback i'm how can i say it getting close to my limit you know what i mean yeah i like uh, it's a great project i'm enjoying it but holy moly i'm toast uh all right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Let's see some. Almost forgot to show you right down his throat. Our, our lines at the back of the bowl are pretty much following the angle of our uh, fin. I could probably change that a touch. Let me know if you think I need to change that. And which way I would need to change it. I could fiddle with it uh, the other direction as well, but I don't know if I want to do that. All right, guys. Thanks. Good night.